This is a must-have mod for Terraria. It is the better taxes mod. You know that useless NPC that really doesn't give you much when you're collecting uh, money from him? It's not a lot. He doesn't hold much. And it's really inconvenient to go talk to him and collect some money. Yeah, that one. This mod fixes a lot of that crap and it's customizable. Before we get into that, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more Terraria content. If you like this video, give the video a like. And if you dislike it, dislike it. With that out of the way, let's look into this mod a little bit further. You go to the settings, go to the mod configuration, and you click better taxes config. You're able to customize it, as you can see right, right here. Base always, base mech any. You have different stages of the game that provide you a different amount of money. I believe I am currently on the Moon Lord. Because I beat Moon Lord. I think this is where I'm at right now. I'm not sure if it's all the previous tiers that I fulfilled plus this one or if it's only the one that you currently are on. That I am not sure on. I, th I think it might be all the ones combined that you fulfilled the necessary quota for. But here's where it gets really interesting. You can alter how long it takes between the paycheck. Here it is every one minute. You can go lower, you can go higher. You can cap the money at 100 platinum, so that's how much money the tax collector will hold. And you can alter how much money you get on expert mode. So let's say if the base is 25, you got expert mode, I currently have it on double. But you can go higher, you can go lower. The main feature that I really like is the auto collect feature. We're going to go down here and we're going to speed it up. The tax collector's house is right there. He has a safe in there. If you look in here, there is currently nothing in the safe. We are going to speed up the time with the forcing of the sundial. And it's going to go and at a certain time every day, I believe it is midnight. He will put all the money he's collected into that safe if it's in his room. It can be a piggy bank too, I think, but I'm just going to be using the safe. I usually use the safe for po or the piggy bank for potions. And look, three platinum, 36 gold. That's a lot of money after Moon Lord. Or actually, that's not a lot of money after Moon Lord because you probably already collected everything. But it can be a worthwhile amount of money earlier on. Watch, let's do it again. Force it. Now, obviously, this is a cheating method. You can only use the sundial, was it, once a week normally? But I'm just demonstrating this mod. I've already done with this playthrough, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, as you can see, the moon, I believe it already passed midnight. Should, So it should already have the amount of money collected on here. I ignore that because I don't think that is accurate. But, yep, 6 platinum, 72 gold. We're up to 9 platinum, 24 gold, 12 silver, and 3 copper. Now, you know that amount of platinum will not last very long, but it is very useful. If you think you're getting too much, you can dial it back. If you think you're getting too little and you want more, you can add more. This is a great mod. I think it's a must-have. It actually makes this NPC actually useful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.